It is my great honor to be here today. I'm the chairman of a leading international law firm, and I wanted to offer today the perspectives of a lawyer that I hope can build on the wise remarks of Secretary General Halal and my colleagues here on the panel. When we speak of the cities of the future, we should focus on how cities can promote and sustain innovation and creativity at world-class levels. We should focus on how cities can drive the ability of a country to compete effectively in a world economy. We should focus on how cities can attract foreign investment in a world where foreign investors have many, many choices. The rule of law is central to the ability of cities to compete in this world economy. It is intensive, and the rule of law is central to the ability of cities to compete. The quality of a city's legal infrastructure directly affects a city's capacity to attract human and financial capital. The transparency of the legal process, the predictability of outcomes, and the ease of complying with regulation all contribute to economic development and the creation of jobs to support further innovation. This cycle of creative innovation and investment is one of the hallmarks of competitiveness on a global scale. For this reason, the rule of law is a policy tool to drive efficiency and productivity and the success of cities of the future, and in particular, the economic cities that Secretary General Halal has just spoken of. For instance, a recent study by the World Bank concluded that the rule of law accounts for more than half of the intangible wealth of a country. The World Bank identified the rule of law as a primary reason why some societies succeed more than others. The success of cities of the future will depend heavily, therefore, on the quality of the legal infrastructure it's important to recognize investors have choices to make, and in a global economy, they will focus their investment in economies that are strongly supported by the rule of law. For this reason, economies where business can, businesses can be set up quickly and efficiently have competitive advantages over economies where the legal system is inefficient and unpredictable. Economies where businesses are regulated in fair and transparent ways will have competitive advantages over economies where legal outcomes are not predictable or clear. Economies where disputes are addressed efficiently and fairly will have competitive advantages over economies where disputes are difficult to resolve. In short, the rule of law reduces risk and promotes certainty, and certainty and reduced risk are critical to attracting and building an economy based on creativity and innovation, which is the goal. I cannot overstate the importance of the World Bank's findings that a strong rule of law is a critical source of wealth for any society and for any future city. Legal systems have often been viewed as cost centers of the economy, as drains on the economy. But that has it backwards. In truth, strong legal systems are essential assets in attracting global investment to cities of the future. The quality of legal rules and the quality of an economy's legal framework will play a crucial role in determining the growth of a city's economy. Through our affiliated law firm, Institution Koresh, and its principal, Malik Dalan, we will be establishing offices in Riyadh and the King Abdullah Economic City to assist the kingdom on these very important issues. We are honored to be working with His Excellency Amir Daba and the new Secretary General Halal to support His Majesty's vision for the development of the kingdom's economic cities. My daughter was recently a student in Damascus. 
When I visited her there, I was a witness to the rich history of Arab cities. As a lawyer, I could not help but look to the example of the prophet, peace be upon him, in legislating the first written law of an Islamic city, the Constitution of Medina. From the beginning of Islamic history, the rule of law resonates deeply in the tradition of an enlightened and innovative city. His Majesty's vision for the economic cities as carried out by the exceptional people of Sagia and ECA is for the next generation to inherit. There will be many technological marvels that will mark these new cities, but the trade and investment needed to develop and sustain creativity and innovation will require strong, effective legal structures. This is both the future and the teaching of history. Thank you.